Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time I'm delighted to have my friend Andy back and this time he's brought along a batch of 1960s Batman bubblegum cards. I know you're going to enjoy looking through them. I cannot wait to take a look. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Wow, there we are Andy. So already I can see a splash of 60s Batman colour. You bet, you bet. Holy collectible cardboard jewels. <laughs> so, yeah, part of the, the explosion of 1966 Batman memorabilia. Um, because although Batman first appeared in the comics, of course, in 1939, there wasn't much Batman merchandise before the TV show hit big no, in 66. No. That was because Bob Kane, the, uh, the original creator, had um, a much better contract with DC Comics than the likes of Siegel and Schuster, who created Superman, who basically didn't own a hair on Superman's head. Right. They signed it all away. Kane came from a more well-off family. Um, his father could afford a better lawyer. He got a much better contract, got a much better deal. But one of the things was he got a slice of the merchandise, were there to be any. Right, yeah. So when merchandisers went to DC, say, in the 40s, mm -hmm. DC pointed them in the way of doing Superman merchandise and away from Batman merchandise because right. they'd get more money. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So that's why, really, the, apart from the comics, there's very little Batman merchandise before 1966. When yeah. the TV show hit big yeah. in January 66, um, it started in America. Yeah. It, it absolutely exploded. It was a phenomenon over there, and the, you started getting tons of Batman merchandise. So this is all sort of on the back of the 60s Adam West, Burt Ward Very TV much show. so. Very much right. so. Okay, yeah. that's um, good. 120 episodes, three seasons. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this is this is one of the first sets I ever collected as a child. Right, so what are we looking at? What When did these come out? This... this there's five sets in all, uh, oh. which were released by Tops in America and A and B C in this country, yeah. in the UK. I think they're all 1966 in America, um, mm. and I remember getting this set in autumn '66. So I think some of the British releases went on into six, must have gone into 1967. Right, but it's that sort of period. Okay. Okay. So this is the first set. Um, yeah. Easy set to get, sold in the millions. It's known as the Black Back Set. As you can see, the black backs here oh, yeah. on the front, yeah. also known as the pink back set in Britain. Okay. A uh, set of 55. Well, look at the wrappers first. So, yeah. four cards plus bubblegum. Gum, yeah, with the classic Batman 60s TV logo. Um, they were so popular that if you turn over, they also did seven card packs. Right. For sixpence. Didn't do that with many sets, AMBC. No, no. Um, one of the... I don't think I've ever seen that wrapper before. No, that's the scarcer wrapper of the two. They're yeah. not neither of them mega rare, but uh, yeah, that's the scarcer one. Nice condition, yours as well. Yeah. So here we go onto the cards, all painted artwork. Um, yeah. So not from a comic book in per se. They haven't cut it from a, no. a DC comic. No, it's all, all original. It's, it's yeah. all original artwork. The artwork's painted by Norman Saunders, ah. um, who did a lot of work for. Tops yes. uh, on a freelance basis. He was, he was a commercial artist. Didn't he do something with Mars Attacks? He did do the art for Mars Attacks. <sighs> I, I never yeah. knew that. Yeah, 1962. He did, yeah. Uh, he did the Civil War set they did in 1961, Battle, mm. the World War II set. He did that. Um, as I say, this is a set of 55. His painted artwork is on 51 of the 55. All right. Um, the way it actually worked with this sort of set mm. for him working for Tops, it's from. Pencil sketches by Bob Powell, who was a comics artist. Yeah. And then um, Saunders would paint the cards uh, yeah, from, from, the the, from the template of the pencil sketches see, by Bob right. Powell. Which is why if you see original art yeah. for sale, it says Norman Saunders and Bob Powell. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And so pink are. backs, yeah, like you say. Pink backs, yeah. So, um, yeah, um, very sort of kind of pulpy looking set um you know lots of peril um yeah. is it telling a story they do yeah the first 44 cards are stories linked stories mm. um, there's four 11 part stories one with the joker one with the riddler and so on and so on yeah and the rest of the cards are single a single story so you to the catwoman story now oh uh, yeah. yeah there's your penguin story um yeah, yeah, pretty accurate to the to the 
show in the comics of the time. Obviously, Catwoman looks more like she did in the comics of the time. Yeah. Um, he didn't quite get the Joker right. He's got he's a man with a painted face rather than actual dyed skin. If you look at the Joker oh, yeah. cartoons, he's, he's, uh, Riddler though, that Riddler. looks good, doesn't it? Riddler's pretty accurate. Yeah. But I loved these as a kid. Absolutely. Yeah, loved them. I bet. Yeah, they are fantastic. Yeah. Look at that! Fantastic, fantastic <laughs> artwork. The Bat Gas Mask. The Bat Gas Mask. Saunders was such a good artist. He did lots of stuff from the thirties onwards. Lots of paperback covers. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, yeah, Ace yeah. D covers. Yeah, the, the Ace Prime Doubles. Ones. Yeah, he did a lot of those. Yeah, a lot yeah. of Western. Never know. I might have a cop, an odd one. Yeah, by a lot him, of comic book covers. A lot of magazine illustrations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how many did you say? Was it 55? 55 in the first series, yeah. It's not too bad to play, then, was it? And very common. Um, the prices seem to be creeping up a little bit for this set. Mm. Recent ones I've seen go for about £70. I'm, right. I wouldn't pay more than 40 Really? For a decent yeah. set. Though. Even though they're what, almost 60 years old. Yeah. Getting that way on, they're heading that direction yeah. now. Very common. And that's the last one just on the top left there. Of the ah, right, set. yes. Number 55. Yeah. Brilliant. So, hot on its heels. Yeah. The second set. Um, I will just say that the first set mm -hmm. were all, uh, obviously tops in America. Uh, they were released here by ANBC, as all these sets are, the gum sets. Yeah. They were also released in Canada by OPG and Scanlans in Australia. There's also a version mm -hmm. of um, the first set with a fan club panel on the back for a British Batman fan club. Oh, now, right. they're rarer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're much pricier than the, the ones the just with, with the Batman figure on the back. Okay. Um, and there's also, ABC also did a set for um, the Dutch market as well, with the, with right. the text on the backs in Dutch. That's oh, very that's interesting. Yeah. So I see here we've got the red logo for this Batman. This is the red, known as the red bat set. The red yeah, bat. The red bat okay. set. So same sort of thing. But did it have a different wrapper? Um no, we seem to use the same wrappers right, for the right. um, for all of these for, for the first three okay. sets, the artwork sets. Yeah, okay, they all right. just yeah the same wrappers. Oh, brilliant! So, um, and these are yeah. all single stories on the back. There's, there's no linked stories. It's just like a one-off incident. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see. Is it the same artist? All Norman Saunders. All right, brilliant. Yeah. This kept him busy, didn't it? Oh, sure did. It wasn't very well paid work, but it was work. <laughs> yeah. Um, ah, now we've got a picture and puzzle backs. Puzzle backs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but again, fantastic. Yeah, great, absolutely. Great artwork. Have these ever been pulled together in a book? Um, there is a Norman Saunders book which his son David mm. um, put out in 2006. It doesn't collect all of them. No. But some of them are in there. It's a wonderful book. You'd think Batman would be uh, a missing a trick there, or even Tops, because they did those lovely hmm. hardback books, didn't they? They haven't done a Batman them. one. No. Oh, done Batman ones. Strange. Although the set. The first three sets, the artwork sets, were reissued as a box set in 1989. Oh, right. the Tim Burton film. Yeah, on the back big. of that, that yeah. popularity. And you can always tell those because they do say deluxe reissue edition. Right, and they're the, obviously super on the sharp. On the back of the cards, and they're super yeah. 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 I mean, yours are really nice, as always, Andy. All your cards are <laughs> top shape. Yeah. Nice collectible um, examples. Yeah. Again, these were released in... Uh, Obviously, in America, my tops was the original release. Yeah. Are the American ones a little bit bigger? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are, yeah. The British ones are smaller, uh, and they came out. These came out in Canada and Australia as well. Right. So this is a set of forty-four. Oh, so it is quite a, a short set. Yeah, small. Yeah. yeah, and that was it. The last one. That's it. 44. They are lovely, lovely the artwork. Yeah, they're great. Aren't they? Yeah, I, I adored them as a kid because yeah. I didn't have any other. I didn't read Batman comics at the time, so no. it was the TV show and these. Okay, so, so that was Series 2. That Series 2, which is worth about the same as Series 1, perhaps a little bit more. Yeah. These are a bit harder, the Blue Bat set, the third right. artwork set. They're a bit scarcer. Um, so you'd be probably talking between you know, maybe 7,500 for these. All right, and how many in this uh, This series? is 44 again. 44, yeah, okay. Um, again released in... Uh, in Canada and Australia, puzzle backs again. Although there is an Australia, uh, sorry, one of the American versions have text on the backs rather than puzzle backs. Right, there's a variation. Variation set. Wow. Okay. Amazing. That's nice. The uh, roulette wheel roulette up there. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So there you go. Lots of weird and wonderful foes. Some from the comics. Some not. Brilliant, Jack Frost. But again, all by Norman Saunders. Yeah. All 44. 
Very, very nice. You've got the, the comic book yeah, the panel. TV style yeah. sound effects as well. <laughs> you can almost hear it, can't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, very, very good. And there we go. The Perilous Penny. Yeah, you've got the Mad Hatter on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Superb. Yeah. So that's, so that's the that's, first sort of three. That's the first three. Those those are the ones that have only only those have ever been reissued. Right. So that's so that once in nineteen eighty nine. Okay. Now this set, mm. the fourth set, Bat Laughs. These are known as because they have jokes on the back. Oh, that does ring a vague bell. Yeah. Bat yeah. Laughs. L A double F S. Um, photos at last. Um, yeah. I think mostly, if not all, from the movie, the twentieth century Fox movie. There might be some in this from the TV show. Mm. Um, Again, released in America, here, Canada, and Australia. Right, so right. We so we've got a different rapper, different rapper. proudly saying real, real photos. photos. Yeah. And that actually looks a bit more like Adam West, yeah. doesn't it? As opposed <laughs> yeah, to the, the comic book rapper. panel. Okay, yeah, and then no, that's a number, photographs. This yeah. is a numbered set of 55, as you see. Right. So lots of great photos from the... Uh, and what a fun film that was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Again, puzzle backs, some photos this time. So yeah, so it's then that you say bat laughs. Bat laughs. <laughs> Brilliant. I seem to vaguely remember seeing this in the cinema as a kid. It's yeah. Saturday morning pictures yeah. or something like that. They yeah. showed it maybe. Yeah. It was, it was originally going to be the lead into the series. The series wasn't going to be shown in America until autumn 66. Right. But it ended up being shown in January 66 as a mm. mid-season replacement for a show that wasn't doing well. Right. So it ended up with the TV series being a lead into the movie rather than the other way around. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Always remember them climbing up the walls and yeah. someone would come out the window, yeah, wouldn't they? Davis Jr. Yeah, yeah. That was they. Yeah, yeah, they had the Green Hornet, didn't they? Pop out with Cato at one yes, point. That was yes, a good one. Yes. <laughs> Um, that's good in the Batmobile there. Yeah, the Green Hornet appeared in a couple of in Kato in a couple of actual episodes. Oh, do they? Yeah. Proper episodes oh, it's as well. been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's Channel Four stuff. repeated them, didn't they? Last, they did. I think. They did. Um, I know they're all out on uh, Blu-ray now. Finally, yeah. yeah. Some years back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's made me want to go and watch a couple now. <laughs> yeah. Still love the original. TV yeah. Show. Loved it as a kid. It is uh, hilarious, but fun. Yeah. So much fun. It's great fun. But yeah, I mean, these are definitely from the movie. These, right? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic little set. Uh, and how many was in this one? This 55? one's fifty-five. Fifty-five again. Yeah. Yeah. Gaussian is the riddle. Yeah. And there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's. Uh, it was on the very first episode of the Ed Sullivan show that the Beatles were on. Oh, really? In yeah, how oh, wow. 64. <laughs> yeah, doing a impersonation. It's very, very good as well. Really? Yeah. He was on the very the, the famous first one. Which wow. Millions and millions of years. Well, yeah, the millions of people there. tuned in. Yeah, and there's the last one up there. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. And here we go to the last 60s bubblegum set. Yeah. So these are known as Riddler Backs or Riddler's Riddle. As uh, so you can say, riddle, riddle, riddle in each pack. There's a dec decoder similar to the Champions oh, one yeah, in the last video, yeah. which we'll see later. Um, and there's there's a similar sort of puzzle riddle on the back of these. So these are known as Riddler backs. Riddler backs, yeah. Once again, you've got a lovely example of the wrapper yeah, there. Nice UK wrapper. Yeah. A set of thirty eight. These now these are all from the movie. Right. And they've got like a little mock. Yeah. Like they've been mounted, mock, aren't they? Mock. Uh, Corners, yeah, yeah, yeah. These were released in obviously in America and Canada, but not in Australia. Right. I don't think I've ever seen these. The pictures are better definition, aren't mm, they? Slightly. Yeah, nice, these, yeah. Little backs. There we go. So, so, yeah. Like you say, they've got There's a little riddler's riddle on the back, and you put the decoder over there and ah, yes. enter the riddle. Yeah. There is a Dutch version of these. Again, A and B C did a set for the Dutch market, mm. Dutch language on the back, and they don't have the riddler's riddle. Right. They have a they. Got a picture of him there, similar to that, and there's a coin rub feature with oh, the answer right. to the riddle, where you rubbed a coin over a box, <laughs> yeah. and the answer appears. Wow, yeah. blimey. That's only on the Dutch versions. Incredible. Yeah. So again, all from the movie, you've got Lee Merriweather as Catwoman there. Ah, yes. He was uh, not in the TV show. So 
So again, yeah, more shots from the movie and yeah. the promo shots. Oh, uh, that's the last couple, and there's the Batman decoder. Right, so you'd slide that over the edge there of the yeah. card, and it would give you the, the same, answer. Same as the champions in the last in the last video. Yeah, and similar to that Bond one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was and a Bond there's one. the A and B C copyright above the box, which means yeah. that's a Batman decoder. Ah, right, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's brilliant. Those. Now this set, McLean's toothpaste set of oh. forty. Wow. Okay. So you've got uh, the stories. Yeah. Um, there are seven five card stories, mm. and there are also there's also the it's a game as well game card. Yeah. And uh, you'll see at the end there are four sound effects cards, so wow. making forty cards in all. I often see these sets sold without all the four sound effects cards. If you haven't got four sound effects cards, it ain't complete. Right. Just something to be aware of. Yeah. Okay. Um, very variable what these sell for. I've seen a set go for twenty recently. I've seen a set go for eighty. So for quite, the whole lot, yeah, yeah right, so quite right. variable. Mm. Now, these were, as far as I can ascertain, these were a mail away set in this country. Not one hundred percent sure that they came out in North America or not. Yeah. Um, the place where they seem to be common is the UK. Right. Um, as I say, they seem to be a mail away set. I've never actually come across a box or an advert, but McLean's did do mail away offers on their on their packets. Yeah. Um, I have seen sets in complete in a clear cellophane packet. Mm. So that's how they were retained. They weren't you didn't get them singly or in you know right. ones or twos or whatever like the like the gum cards. They seem to be in a, a mail away set promotion. Okay. Oh, fantastic. And do we know who did the artwork for these? I don't know who did the artwork for these. No. 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 Just some sort of house yeah. artwork. You see McLean's toothpaste on the back. There we are. Now there is another version of them which came out in Australia. Right. Okay. But in Australia they came with cereal. Right. Uh, Nabisco had cereal in Australia called Wheaties and a cereal mm. called Rice Crinkles, which was like Frosties for our UK yeah. years. Um, now, they actually came in packets. They were called Batman and Robin comic strip snap cards. Mm. Not packets. You got two, a couple in a packet. So they were released quite differently. They're not identical to the McLean's toothpaste ones. For one, they don't say McLean's toothpaste on the back. They yeah. say Wheaties and Rice Crinkles. Um, they're slightly larger. And some of them have different artwork and right. different text as well. Some of them, so they're not identical, right. not, not even in size. Amazing, the McLean's one. They are a variant. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, but yeah, there you go. Seven five card stories, various villains, including False Face, who only appeared on the TV show once. And there's your four identical sound effects cards. And they definitely had four then, yeah. Definitely four. Wow, we. So that's forty <laughs> cards for the set. <laughs> So that's all the 60s cards cards that came out in this country uh, for Batman. Yeah. Um, and don't are, tell me you've got another couple of pieces. Oh, I've got a few other pieces. There were also some very nice full-colour cards which came out in Holland. Monty Gum, mm -hmm. uh, who did a number of TV series in the 60s. Um, yeah. In the last video, I forgot to mention that there were some Saint ones in one of the series. Oh, right. Okay. Um, if, you, if anyone looks at the reply, the... Uh, the, the comments, comments, yeah. Yeah, I did mention them in the comments and, uh, to, to somebody's uh, question about them. Uh, the Batman ones came out in 1966 in a TV series, TV series one, it's known as in Holland. Mm. Um, a set of 69 cards, um, numbers one to 27 with Man from Uncle. Right. Uh, 28 to 42 were Batman, so 15 of them. 43 to 65 Flipper, and 66 to 69 The Untouchables. That's right. what came in that set. Right, Andy, so what um, is this delight okay. thing? <laughs> so firstly, uh, we've got a couple of supplementary items from A and B C from yeah. the time. They, as you can see, they did a dedicated album for yeah. the Batman cards. A and B C didn't do many dedicated albums for particular sets. They do some in the 50s, very few after that. Mm -hmm. um, this one they did put out in 66. This is actually for the first Batman set. Right. Um, as you can see, this is our card oh, yeah, stuck in lovely. it. That's, that's the only internal illustration. Right. Um, this is our card stuck in it. At some <laughs> point. They, they are named spaces for the yeah. first set. There are 55. Wow. Oh, you get people using it for all three sets, you know, kids at the time. Oh, I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it was actually made for the first set. Wow. So there's that one. Did they have an album in America? No. No. No, just the British one. Look at that. Not too hard to get. 
No, they were, they've survived, yeah? Yeah, they've survived. Some, sometimes you get them with the cards in as well. Oh, now, brilliant. This, okay, we'll pop that over there. This has survived, but these are rare. Okay. This is the Batman Polythene Glove <laughs> Hand Puppet, <laughs> which is A and B C. I mean, there's literally just there's, there's nothing to there's it. Nothing to it. How many of those survived? Not, carry a bag does say A and B C down there? Yeah, yeah. I had one of these as a again. child, not this particular one. Really? Um, it came bagged in a header card with a header card with twelve bubblegum balls for sixpence. Right. So not not a redemption thing through nope. a mail order nope. or anything. You buy like in that. shops. I can remember buying one. Uh, the little balls. They were little red aniseed balls. They were horrible. Yeah. I remember them. <laughs> Um, I remember spitting one out and <laughs> chucking the rest away. They're horrible. <laughs> but um, that's what they came with. Nothing on the back. But a rare there. survivor. You just don't yeah. see them. One of those sold on eBay uh, about a month or so ago from yeah. this recording date. Um, £249. <whistles> about the same condition as mine. Wow. So, yeah. You'd, Blimey. You just don't see those. No, very, very that's scarce. That's really rare. That's awesome. That's very right. Thank you. That's okay. <laughs> and, and lastly, yeah. often get people saying to me, well, not often, but get people saying to me, Batman Sweet Cigarettes. I remember having Batman Sweet Cigarettes. Was there a card set? No, there wasn't. Uh -huh. This is a 60s box yeah. for Batman Sweet Cigarettes. Uh -huh. um, Lovely. I love these. Yeah. I just love them. They're fantastic. Yeah. Um, they're so evocative of the yeah. time, aren't they? Yeah, you've got a cut out, cut out badge on the back. Oh, awesome. So that's just the, the 10 size 60s box. There was a 20 size. I have a pack of 10, Governor. Yeah. <laughs> and what came with them were yeah. tattoos. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah. So, so no cards. No just cards. Box, just got, exactly one like of those, that. One of those. Couple, they're like water skin tattoos. Um, right. How many were there? Good question. Mm. They were cut off a roll. As you can see, this yeah. one's got two pictures the same. So it was oh, a yeah. lottery to what you got. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not sure how many different pictures there were. I think 20. Right. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. But I think about 20. It might have been 20. So what would you do? Cut the picture out, put it on your hand, and then yeah. wet it? Wet your hand, stick it on, and you've got a, you've got a Batman tattoo on your hand. <laughs> yeah. But they are really wow, rare. That's they are really phenomenal. Rare. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Put and them over there. And just for yeah. comparison, yeah. the Batman... Sweet Sweets were released again in the early 70s. So these so slightly, I slightly, probably vaguely remember. Slightly different box. Candy sticks. Candy sticks. Not sweet no. cigarettes. But, but they same thing, isn't it? Didn't have anything in them, apart from the sweet cigarettes. Just the, uh, yeah. the, the white... No tattoos. No. And your Batman sign on the back. Yeah. But Primrose did tattoos with one more set in the 60s, Dr. Doolittle, which are even rarer. Really? Yeah. Really? But they... Yeah, that's that's why that's why there's no Batman sweet cigarette. I love looking at the, the sweet cigarette boxes, Andy, and yeah. I hope uh, I hope you'd be tempted to dig your collection out because oh, I'd love yeah. to uh, see them all. There's so many, isn't there? There's so many lots. different sorts. Yeah, oh, absolutely fantastic! And yeah. that is Batman in a nutshell. That's Batman '60s. Yeah, uh, that's, absolutely that's, incredible. That covers up pretty much everything. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, well, thanks very much for coming in today, Andy, and sharing your Batman cards with us. Um, absolutely fantastic to see them so thank you very much for that you're welcome um, any ideas then tempt us with what you might be uh, thinking about for a future vid next one we'll stick with superheroes of the 60s so okay. we'll be talking the first two ever Marvel comic sets Ooh, okay. uh, and some of the DC ones and uh, we mentioned briefly the Green Hornet yeah you'll be there as well okay brilliant I shall look forward to that in about a month or so or so's time Brilliant. Thank you very much for coming in today then. And um, yeah, I hope everyone at home has really enjoyed looking through these cards. If you have enjoyed it today, do please give it that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for regular vintage bubblegum card content. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.